Chapter 2, A White Man's Heaven is a Black Man's Hell. No slave master wants the slave to be his equal. No housewife wants the maid to sleep in her bed. So this is history. When John Atkins showed up in our country, telling us of a land filled with luxury, he said, black man, follow me to Jamaica, where you find more gold for your labor. Our poor parents work, the corn to his bone. Ever since that time, he's been wrestling with the gold. We landed here in Kingston, Jamaica, 400 years to suffer. So my friends, it's easy to tell that the white man's heaven is the black man's hell. When the slave master wanted to have some sport, he would eat up on our parents, cruelty of the worst sort, like burn them on stake, hang them on tree. Though you're a pregnant black woman, you pull the plow, like a horse, like a dog, or even a cow. He filled your womb with his wicked seed, his half-white children you were made to breed. So my friends, it's easy to tell that the white man's heaven is the black man's hell. When the white man came to Jamaica, he told the Arawak, I'm your white brother. He said, red man, I treat you the best. Yet and still he pushed them Arawaks further west. With his white woman and fire water, tricks and lies, he stole Jamaica. So-called Negroes, open up your eyes. Black man everywhere is on the rise. He has kicked the white man out of Asia, and he's going fast out of Africa. With every ounce of strength and breath, his cries give us liberty or give us death. The whole black world has rise up in you to see what the so-called Negro is going to do. So my friends, it's easy to tell that the white man's heaven is a black man's heaven. God made a promise to Abraham that his seed would be a stranger in a foreign land. They would suffer and be afflicted 400 years, then he would come and wipe their tears. Our God and Savior, Allah, has come and is prophesied the white man days done. divine messenger. One prophesied to come, his name Elijah. Look in Malachi 4. We now can stand up, the whole world to tell. Our God has come to take us to heaven and push the devil back in hell. So my friends, it's not hard to tell that the white man's heaven is the black man's hell. Take those white pictures from off of your walls.